Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Asian Gay, uh, playing Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Dime Edition. Uh, today, got the mission made by uh, Jim and Edpart, and the Cal mission is Face Off Part 2, which is his uh, seven mission of uh, his, uh, the Mastermind series. So, yeah, we're always thinking for a time about like, this mission. Stop doing this mission right now. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a huge sum, yes, but something tells me that you might have a plan to where to get it. Am I right, JT? Oh, you just spoil everything. Your friend JT has a great survival skill. He was kind enough to tell me everything about what you going, got going on here before we decided to come to visit you. Then again, choosing between doing something stupid and sharing a little information is not really hard for a smart guy like JT, especially after seeing what happened to your friend Ricky. That shit should have been clear in the mind of him. What the fuck did you do to Ricky, asshole? He's just died. Unfortunately, Ricky's survival skills were not as good as JT. He thought it would be better to react and do something stupid, so I had to react too. He better not be dead, you hear me? You know, I really couldn't tell you right now, even if I wanted to. I told my boys to take him to the hospital when we were heading there here, but I didn't notice any sign of emergency upon them. I was uh, otherwise leaving. And that sucks because time is important when you have a bullet on your stomach. You son of a bitch. Don't worry, you'll be able to go visit him at hospitals once we leave. If he's still alive, of course. Then how about you hurry up and say what you want to, so we can do that. What I want from you is simple. Do the job you came here to do, only you're gonna do it for me. And once you get it done, you'll give me the 20 to 100 million and we'll call it even. You don't lost your mind if you think we're gonna do all the work for free and risk everything for nothing. But Ross, you're not doing it for nothing. You're doing it for to save your life in the life of your friends. Besides, I'll tell you what. If you guys behave and do as you're told, I'm going to let you keep some of that money after this is done. You know, because I'm nice like that. How much exactly are you going to let us keep? Zero. You guys are in no position to negotiate anything right now. Hell, you don't even have the money yet. We'll discuss it once you do the job. And to make sure you're properly motivated to do this job, we're gonna keep JT with us for the time being. I swear to God, if you hurt him. Hurt him? Like JT? What I'm doing is actually saving him, Brian. In case you haven't noticed, it's this job you're trying to pull off. It's risky and dangerous. Thanks to me, JD is going to be safe from all of that. And how the fuck do you expect to, us to do the job you when you want it and possibly kill it when you are guys already and now you're going to keep that harder? You should have thought this through before. Biting the hand you're trying to get feed off of genius. You're wrong. I did think this, this true. JD told me that he's a secondary hacker on your team, and that the guy calling Nate is the master, one who's capable enough to make it sure that JD absence doesn't compromise your job. On that note, which one of you is Nate? Oh, uh, I am. Of course you are. Tell me, Nate, has JD overestimated you? What about Ricky? How are we gonna replace him? That's not a problem at all. He doesn't seem like he's be hard to replace. I think you'll be able to do it without him, but if the logistics are a problem, I'll send one of my boys to fill up in for him. You don't have to worry. All my guys are really capable and dependable. Trust me. Before we go, 
just to make sure that we're all on the same page. As for this moment, I own you. That means your lives are in my hands. And by the way, you cannot even imagine how many guys I have at my disposal who's going to keep a close eye on you all. They won't bother you while you work through, trust me. You won't even know they're there. But if you try to run away or if you try to trick me or anything at all that is not what we agreed to right here, then and then I'll spill out the skin off a of JD and bring you to head his head on a stick. Then after that, I'll have my fun for each of you, one by one. And it will last lo it will last long and more even than you can ever fucking imagine. Let's go. I'll keep it touch. <sighs> Fucking son of a bitches. Fuck. The guy play us. There's no way out of this. We're fucked. What the fuck are we gonna do, bro? We got JD too. JT is gonna be fine. He's the only leverage they have at their moment. We gotta go to the hospital to find Ricky and see if he's gonna be alright. Yeah, I'll go with Billy. You two stay here with Nate. We'll call as soon as we have any info on him. When, when we come back, we'll try to figure out how to deal with the situation. Let's go. To be continued, which means... That's pretty much the end of the mission. Stay tuned, I'm going to play a mission very soon. All right, we got a planner mission made by. Uh, whoa, I'm jumping, I'm jumping very high. But I'm still taking damage. Uh, made by Jamila Park, and the town mission is Ordeal of the Unfortunate, which is the eighth mission of uh, his uh, the Mastermind series. So yeah, what I was saying for time, I like this mission. Stopping this mission right now, Unfortunate. Seems like uh, some bad news, man. Bang. Get in the car with Billy. Is anyone watching us right now? I mean, where's those, uh, you know, that black guy? I forgot his name. Iris? Yeah. Man, what what if that asshole was lying and Ricky was already dead? He's already dead. Stop it, all right? We're going to check the hospital and go from there. Proceed to Las Venturas Hospital. Well, that was quick. I thought like it would take a while before like uh, the criminal gang will notice where their warehouse are. Well, I mean they saw like the like the outside, but not like completely like, going inside, you know. But uh, it was kind of expected because you know they're the two guys that went to a burger shop. Wow. They got caught, you know. Yeah, um, I have to be honest with you guys. I mean, Jamie like part is like, uh, like the way you explain, like, uh, you know, the storyline along with the script, like. He knows like what people are thinking, you know. He just tells you like uh, it can be very frightening how people like uh, plan things, how people think about the others and all that, you know. So if he, if it is a common criminal that is very smart, you have a reason to be afraid, you know. I mean, I know like uh, you know like. Uh, what happened like in real life like we make fun of like uh, you know dangerous people and all that but uh, I just want to say like you will never know what they can do excuse me we're looking for our friend his name is Ricky Baker you must check it in very certainly due to the abdominal gunshot wound Yes, a man with such an injury was admitted to the ER about 20 minutes ago. Oh, he was a lady's voice. He was brought in without an idea. You said his name is Ricky Baker? 
That's right. Why can't we see him? I don't know. I'm sorry. He's in surgery right now. That's all the info I have. Can you tell us at least uh, how long the surgery is going to take? An injury like that is life-threatening. It could take a while. May I please have your name, sir? Uh, it's David. David Smith. And do you know the secret test is out for your friend's injury? His cousin shot him by accident. Okay, well, you can take a seat and I'll call you as soon as I have a new information about your friend. All right, thank you. At least now we know Pirates wasn't baffling. Man, if Ricky doesn't make it, I'm gonna... <laughs> He's a fighter, he'll make it. He has to. In the meantime, yeah, I think that the hospital's gonna take age, man. All right, Scott, call you when you have anything else on Ricky. They found Ricky on the hospital. He's in surgery right now. That's all they know. This job is busted. That motherfucker put your boy in the hospital. He took JT. And even if we do the job, he wants the score. He ain't the same worry. It's over, bro. We need to get the fuck out of here as soon as possible. Tyrus said he's gonna give us some of that money if we do the job. It's better than nothing. We can still do this thing. Come on, Brian. You didn't really believe him, did you? Tyra's not going to give us anything. He'll kill us uh, the second we give him that money. One more reason to get a fuck out right here, right this second. And believe JT behind? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Look, I'm sorry about JT, but there's nothing we can do about this nigga. Oh. But we don't know where they are and where they are keeping him. Staying here trying to do the job we can no longer do, we get ourselves killed. We're not running away and leaving JT behind. This is, isn't over. You're right, this isn't over. Now, if I know Scott, the guy won't let this slide. Not a chance. But it's suicide, bro. You know, a few years ago, before me and my team stopped doing jobs, we got a similar situation like this one with JT. There was this unhinged lunatic Conrad Turner, who was the leader of a huge and powerful gang called Turnbows. We messed up a lot of his business. Then he found out about us, so we had to finally kill him. Scott and the guy stormed his base and blew it up. Conrad was in there, so we thought he was dead. Unfortunately, we were wrong. He survived and came back other blue and us pay back. He kidnapped Kitania. He took us by surprise because we thought it was over. Scott decided to risk Kitania alone even though he knew he stood no chance. But we just had lost one of our guys who also Scott best friend. Naturally Scott didn't want anyone else to get hurt so he chose to go at them alone. Luckily, he has a good friend with Billy or Ricky who wanted to st help him no matter what. And despite all the odds, they did it. They finally wiped out the rest of the turnballs, kill it Conrad and save it Tanya. Moral of the story is, you always gotta have the faith. I know how you feel right now, Ross. You're scared of that and that's why you wanna run. What I also know is that you don't really want to leave your friend hanging. But you're going to have faith, kid, in yourself and your team. Listen to Brian. He gets it. He gets it. We'll help you JT back, but we cannot do it all about without you. And with that bit of luck, let's hope Ricky makes it back. There will be a far force and tires, and his guy won't be able to stop us. All right, all right, homie. But I never said I was scared. I ain't scared. You heard me? I ain't scared. Say it one more time. Oh, I just skip it. My bad. An hour later, I was pressing to the space by accident. How long has it been? About an hour? Hmm. Mr. Smith? 
Uh, yes, that's me. Doctor will come to talk to you shortly. Great, thank you. Uh, one hour is not so bad, man. Can you can you imagine like uh, waiting for hours? Phone start ringing. Hello. Yeah, it's me. Great. Text me the time and location. Dealer called. They have our stuff ready by tomorrow night. Uh oh. Oh, they're back. You guys are back. I thought we said you were gonna tell let us know about Ricky. He's dead. What happened? Ricky, he's dead. To be continued, which means, uh-oh. That's pretty much the end of the mission. Thank you for watching it six time, guys.